Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's review of the Oxford Rockland textile jacket and jeans. Oxford's Rockland textile jacket and trousers are both new for 2023 and they give us a really good three-in-one setup for good coverage on cold days, on wet days and also on hot days. The removable waterproof and thermal liners are what give it that flexibility, so let's run through what this combination has to offer. The shell is made from 600 denier polyester with even tougher polyester overlays at the shoulders and also at the elbows. It fastens with a chunky zip up the middle and because all the waterproofing is on the inside there's no need for the extra faff of a storm flap over the top of the zip. The collar is poppered and you get two choices to give you either a more relaxed or a close fit around the neck and it can also be hooked back out of the way to give you a little bit more airflow. Fit adjustment on the jacket is easy and there is loads of it. You get twin waist belts, there are poppers above and below each elbow, and then you get pull cords at the lower hem on the jacket. Venting for this is excellent, there's plenty of it. You get mesh panels at the chest, the torso, the forearms, and also on the back. They're really big and particularly effective because the waterproof liner is removable, so that means you can take it out, you get those large mesh sections that are flowing lots of air through to the inside. The cuffs on the jacket are really simple Velcro closures. They gave me room to easily fit a pair of winter gloves on the inside. That's how I prefer to ride with my gloves on the inside, but I also managed to get the gloves over the top with no trouble when I checked that out. Now, let's just talk about the external pockets before we go to the inside. As ever, there's the lower spine pocket you get on most jackets like this, and there are also two twin compartment pockets on the front. Each of them has a back section, a front section, and then it fastens with a popper and Velcro. And this right hand pocket here has a zip for extra security on the front section of the pocket. So waterproofing, okay, let's go inside the jacket. If you open it up, the first thing you'll see is the waterproof liner. It's made from Oxford's dry to dry material and it's rated to 8,000 millimeters for waterproofing. That means it's lab tested to resist an eight meter column of water. You can take that layer out of the jacket, which will make life more comfortable in higher temperatures, especially if you also open up the vents on the outside of the jacket. There's a thermal liner inside the waterproof liner and that's also removable. Behind that thermal liner is then the mesh liner that houses the armor. Shoulder and elbow armor is fitted as standard with this jacket, which meets the basic level one of the CE impact protection standard. There's a pocket for a back protector as well, but that's an optional extra. It's 22 pounds to buy the one that meets the basic level one of the CE standard, or it's 30 pounds for the one that's tested to the higher level two. Overall, the jacket meets a CE protection rating of AA, which is the middle of three levels available. Now, internal pockets, there are three, but you'll only ever have easy access to one at a time as one's in the main shell, one's in the waterproof liner, and then the final one is in the thermal layer. There are matching Rockland trousers that you see here, and they connect to the jacket via either a short zip on the outer jacket or a longer one that lives on the waterproof liner. Using that longer zip on the liner maximizes your rain protection by making sure the waterproof lining can't ride up and leave a gap for water to get through. The trousers are very similar to the jacket in their construction. They've got the same outer materials. You've got a removable waterproof membrane and zip out thermal lining. You get generous vent panels on the thighs and there are also pockets at each hip. There's loads of room at the bottom for the ankles to go over boots, even chunky adventure boots when we tested that, which is really important on kit like this. The trousers come with braces as well, which reduces the chances of a gap opening up between the jacket and the trousers. There's knee and hip armour in the trousers. Both of those meet the basic level one of the CE impact protection standard. And like the jacket, the trousers are AA rated overall under CE. There's a wide range of sizes for both the jacket and for the trousers. Both go from small up to 5XL. In the jacket, that means 38 through to 52 inches at the chest, and waist sizes range from 32 up to 46 inch. Leg length options are available in the grey and red colour scheme you see here. You can have short, regular or long. In the other colours that are available, they come in just the regular inside leg. Okay, so here's what I think of the Rockland setup after spending a couple of hundred miles wearing it out on the road. It's comfortable to wear, it's very flexible in terms of the weather conditions it covers, and the price is pretty good considering the spec. For £450 you can get both jacket and jeans, it's £250 for the jacket, £200 for the trousers, and £450 with that you really get the jacket alone on some of the more premium brands. This doesn't match up to those higher end brands on quality, but it is pretty damn good for the money. I wore it in cold weather and found it kept me warm with a windproof thermal base layer underneath and the thermal fitted. I found it a bit tricky to stow my phone and my wallet in a pocket. The one in the waterproof liner, I found that to be okay, but when I had the thermal liner zipped in, 
I had to unzip it to get it out of the way to be able to get to the pocket in the waterproof liner. For the trousers, I found the hip armour a little bit restrictive and I would probably look to put something more flexible in there if I was going to spend a long time wearing these trousers. Now this bit's mostly about aesthetics, but the Velcro straps that do up the trouser legs at the bottom are spaced quite far apart and that meant some of the material billowed out and looked a bit weird. Now I might have only ridden a couple of hundred miles in this setup, but this very suit that you see here has also been to Nepal and been worn through some very challenging riding conditions out there. One of our external reviewers, David, he did 1200 miles in this kit on a Royal Enfield Himalayan and he also wore it for some very rainy sessions here in the UK when he got back from Nepal. He was very complimentary about the Rockland jacket and jeans combination, saying that the two together kept him dry in the rain, cool in the heat and that the whole combination remained comfortable throughout. There's a link in the description for this video that will take you to his full written review in case you want to check that out in more detail and he really was very complimentary having put it to some very exacting demands. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Oxford Rockland textile jacket and trousers but as ever if there's anything you'd like to ask or to add then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.